In this episode of the Mariah Report, we are celebrating Butterfly 25. There's a new merch drop. There's a new jewelry collaboration. And you can buy the whole Butterfly Lounge. All of that and more coming right up. Welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. We've been bombarded with Mariah stuff, finally. Butterfly 25 has finally arrived. It is. Now, at the time of recording, we haven't officially got the new tracks from the Butterfly 25 release. It's still a little bit beforehand. However, we know most of them. So. Yeah, we know we know all the little trinkets and things that we'll be getting. So, like, tune in next week and, you know, we'll talk about all the juicy songs that are there. It gives you a stuff. week to study it. gives us yes. some time. Yeah, we've got time. We got time. Before we get into Butterfly 25, can we please talk about what is going on with the Butterfly Lounge? Okay, that's a great question. Number one, it's for sale. For uh, yeah. real. For real, it's for sale. <laughs> so Mariah did put her Atlanta mansion up for sale, the one that she just bought earlier this year. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know if we should talk about it, but it did get robbed. Okay, it did get robbed. But now we're selling it, so let's not... <laughs> it's Girl, great. It's a great it's, place It's a great live. place. It's beautiful. <laughs> Amenities. It's got a pool. A, a, tennis, a tennis court, court. <laughs> lots of land. Yes, yes. a fence. It has an, a recording studio. It's built in. Built in right there. Right. So, okay. So number one, where is the Butterfly Lounge? Like, not like literally where is it, but like, where is it? Like, how come we haven't gotten anything from the Butterfly Lounge other than that little... For sale sign? No. <laughs> <laughs> Out the front? <laughs> <laughs> well, that and um, you masterclass. know, masterclass with Brandy, yes, slash like, fall in love with Christmas music video, right? So that's all well. we've gotten. So I thought we were getting a whole Butterfly Lounge spectacular, right? Where like she's gonna do like multiple collaborations and, and people coming like, and going. I thought there's like video, maybe do you, she, talking. Like I thought there was gonna be a whole thing for Butterfly Twenty Five, which here is we now are with Butterfly Twenty Five. So I don't know, like where is like, it? What what is I. Not sure. <laughs> like what happened? I don't know. She didn't mention anything when nothing. she announced Butterfly 25. There was nothing like, oh, um, you know, Butterfly Lounge moments or anything like that. Yes. And I think when we first started hearing about the concept of Butterfly 25, the Butterfly Lounge was, I think, the first thing we actually were given a heads up about or teased about. So I was expecting. I forgot about it, actually, to be honest. <laughs> but now I'm like, hey, hang on a second. What happened to all that Butterfly Lounge stuff? Right. Where's all that content? Yes. Where is it? It has to, I'm, we have to be getting it soon. Maybe it's like in part of the rollout for Butterfly 25. You think? I hope. I don't know if I should think or hope. <laughs> I don't know. Because now's the moment, right? Yeah. To drop it. I mean, I would think, I mean, but here's the thing. Last week, we didn't think we were getting anything for Butterfly 25. True. So here we are this week. She did make the announcement. So let's go through what we are getting. Uh, well, let's go. I don't know. So I woke up today to a whole new merch collection. Okay. Should we start there? Start with the merch. With the one I open, I made myself purchase the key ring. Okay. Now, what the, the key ring is basically, what is it? It's the handcuffs? Handcuffs, but it says Agent M on it. Okay, but do you think they're plastic? Probably, yeah. Okay. But I wanted the, I like the Agent M for me. M. Oh, okay. You know oh, I mean? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> so okay. like, okay, that's cute. And if they <laughs> sell out, I'll be upset. So that's the first thing I got. Okay. Now I haven't made any purchases, but I do think there's some cute stuff. Like the vintage butterfly t-shirts. That's cute. Cute. The, the black one, and white one is cute. Yes. And then the, the white one is cute because mm -hmm. that's my favorite of the butterfly photos. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's super cute. I mean, everything's like cute, cute for sure. It's all cute. All super cute. Yeah. The sweatpants are cute. So there's the vintage tee, which is like the classic butterfly shirt, mm -hmm. but a different looks, the poses, you know, different versions of the t-shirt. There's a cute little honey shirt as well. With the butterfly as the O. I'm loving that. That's cute. I'm loving that. The rhinestone butterfly tank. This was a controversy to me because <laughs> isn't that the look from the sweetheart video that is very sweetheart video yes do we count sweetheart video as butterfly era no it's towards the tail end no it was it was like the start of a whole new number one's era that's totally number one's era okay so this yeah, is so i don't know why categorized girl it's like, that is the most random piece of merchandise i would ever think of 
for butterfly. And I'm also, I mean, it's a hundred dollars, but what's the quality like on that? And how do you wash it? Do you wash it? I think you dry clean it. Is it, is it like really like, what is it? I don't know. I don't know where you'll get that. I don't know what, who's making it, who and what, I don't know what that's going to look like. Well, I need to see it in real life. Yeah. I need to see it in real life too. Mm -hmm. That that's one of those. But I like those outside of the box. It very much, very much For something merch. different and interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, it's all right. People are thinking, but I'm trying to piece it together in the era. Yeah. Um, are we forgetting a video or something that she wore it in? I don't think so. Not, not to my knowledge. Maybe it's just a rhinestone tank top and she's like, these idiots are overthinking it. There you have it. <laughs> That's probably exactly what it, what it is. Uh, okay, we've got a pillow. Mm -hmm. Butterfly tufted rug. Why is it round? It's a CD, vinyl. <gasps> oh. Rug. <laughs> Shaped. But how, okay, well, what are the dimensions on that, girl? Where are you going to put that? At the door. Oh, it's like a doormat? I think. With a, Is there really a hole in the middle? or is It's it... three feet by three feet. How big is that? Oh, that's not very big. That's a quarter of a Subway sandwich. That's tiny. <gasps> a quarter of a Subway sandwich? <laughs> that's how I measure feet and inches. No, three feet. It's hang on. three no. feet. Okay, hang on. That's big. That's three Subway sandwiches. That's three Subway sandwiches. Oh, sorry, I went the wrong way. <laughs> See how I can't do math? Oh, three Subway sandwiches by three Subway sandwiches. That's uh -huh. big. It's not that big. That's Put that on the ground. You definitely, yeah, for sure. Maybe I mean, you put it in your boudoir. Yeah, but for a hundred dollars, girl, don't even get me started. It's limited edition. I mean, I guess for like, yes, if you're a merchandise collector, that is definitely needed. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, girl, you can get like a rug that size for like 40 bucks. With Mariah Carey butterfly and a butterfly on it? Well, no, no, you're not going to get that, but... <laughs> Just saying if you're actually going to utilize the rug in your home or in your entryway or something. I don't suggest you do that, though, because you'd be ruining the merchandise. Yeah. I don't know what you do with the rug. I never thought about a rug as a piece of merchandise, though. Floor decoration. Yeah, but then it gets ruined. I think people step on it. No, you know how the fans are. Don't be stepping on it. You can look. Okay, step over the rug, please. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the key ring is an option. That's what I got. I was like, okay, I need that. If they sell out, I'll be mad. Yeah, that is cute. That is cute. It's cute. Um, and then they have a slip mat, which I guess is for your vinyl record player. Uh huh. And then they are also, I guess it hasn't been announced yet because we're recording this a day ahead, but there's going to be a vinyl. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a cassette. The box vinyl. And then there's going to be a honey vinyl as well yeah yeah so all that is fun stuff now that's what i really want how much do you think the box set is girl do you think it's 200 she's playing games if it's more than 60 dollars, and i think it's going to be 75 oh i think no i think it's gonna be 80 i think way up i think minimum 150 for 12 tracks yeah Absolutely not. No, ma'am. Let's play price. Oh, let's play price is right. <laughs> okay. I have a price is right story. Okay. So funny. So the other day I I watched price is right for the first time in years. I don't can't even remember if I ever, if I even ever watched it. So I'm laying on the couch. I have it on. Um, actually have like a, I had the day off for real. Like I didn't have anything to do. So I was like, well, let me actually watch price is right. One contestant, her name was Moriah Faith. One word. M O R. Mariah, like Y-A, Faith, okay. or, or one word. So it's like Mariah Faith. That's how you pronounce it. So it's like, okay. But very... with an O? With an O and a Y. Interesting. I know, okay. but it's pronounced Mariah Faith. Okay. Uh, so that happened. And then towards the end, like they have the contestants that can come back and like do a, another spin of the wheel or whatever, win more prizes. So one dude comes out, he's doing shout outs. And he's like, yeah, I want to um, shout out to my mom, this person, that person, and my girlfriend, Mariah. Oh, I was like, oh, there's like double Mariah action happening. Oh my God. That is so crazy. And the price is right. That is so crazy. I have a funny Mariah name story as well that oh, my yeah. friend told me. This is so random, but like for his work, he calls people like from a, like a list. Yeah. And you know, he comes down the list and it says Mariah, M-A-R-I-A-H. And he's like, well, I know that. I know how to pronounce that word. Oh. So he <laughs> calls and he's like, oh, can I speak with Mariah? And the woman gets so irate with him. She's like, that is not how you say my name. And I'm like, girl, 
Is okay. This... <laughs> yeah. Around these parts. Around there's... these parts. But apparently it's pronounced Mar Maria. 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 And I was like, girl. She's doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah, just nod <laughs> just, to the man, the man, the man. It's the Mariah, phone. girl. It's yeah. Mariah. <laughs> She's Sorry trying to change it. it. Sorry about it. How funny. But so interesting. There's a lot, yes, of Mariah a lot of Mariah ha- action out there. A lot of Mariah action out there. <laughs> um, okay, so we got new merch for yes. Butterfly 25. And we're also getting eight bonus tracks. Right. Now, we haven't heard all of them yet. No. Um, we. I'm so excited that The Roof with Brandy is going to be there. Officially. Officially out. streamable, downloadable, purchasable, all that kind of stuff. Because I think it's amazing. I love it. And legit. Yes. <laughs> it's good quality. We don't need the bootleg no more. <laughs> um, and then I think they're also doing, uh, which we again already had the Brian McKnight, whenever you call duet. Uh huh. So this one we, number one, girl, we've been knowing that one forever. And I, I mean, I like that song Mariah only. I never liked it with him. I don't mind it with him. I mean, I don't mind it, but like Mariah's vocals on the regular track are just so good. It's like, I really like the Around the World version with him. Really? Mm. See, no, I, no, you I don't, don't like that. No. Oh. I mean, it's cute. Sure, I listen to it. Sure. I mean, back in the day, I listened to it a lot. Nowadays, I don't. I can't tell you the last time I played it. Yeah. Well, now you will play it more because it'll come on your shuffle or something. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> um. So those are so two new duets. Yes, that's exciting. Um. What else do we got? Butterfly live from the David Letterman show. Hmm. We got two live performances. So it's David Letterman, Butterfly, yes, and Mayall. Live from Divas Live. Well, we okay, had that. We already had that one. But now she's giving it to you on the Butterfly. Okay. It's officially part of the Butterfly album now. Okay. A fish. I mean... Okay. It's very good. Oh, it's very lovely. And it's going to match the string alicious roof on there that we oh, now have. Okay, true. You true, know what true, I mean? True, true. And it goes into the dance remix. Right. So we love that. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, but now I'm looking at the sequencing. It would have been good if it was right before the Butterfly Club mix is coming up. Right. So you can, it's like a transition. Well, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Right. It's just little crazy things. <laughs> um, uh, so that's exciting. Yes. Good things there. Fourth of July a cappella. That's exciting. Uh, hey, vocals all the all, all day. Because that is vocalicious. Yeah. So absolutely. get rid of the music. Let's listen to the vocals. Boom. The music's just up there. You don't. It's right there for you. Yeah, it's it's there if you want. On track it, five. But yeah. I want the vocals. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. I think we might have like heard bootleg versions around. Yeah, the they've been floating around maybe the the YouTube or something for a while. So yeah. we've heard at least snippets or or portions of these acapellas. Well, we most so. So there's the uh, 4th of July and outside a cappella. We most definitely have not heard them in the digital Dolby situation. Exactly, exactly. Because High def, whatever that that's is. That's a whole nother thing. So they on Apple Music, they have Dolby Atmos. Atmos, yes. Atmos. At, whatever, At- however you say it. Girl, whoever. <laughs> Mariah, Maria, whatever. I think it's Atmos, <laughs> like atmosphere. Atmos. 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 Either or. Either or. However you want to say it. It's good. It's really good because I put on my good headphones and I listen to it. And I'm telling you, you hear layers that I've been listening to this album for decades Mm -hmm. that I've never heard or like they weren't clear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she likes to bury things down there Mm -hmm. um, in the layers of vocals or Mm -hmm. background vocals. And with Dolby Atmos, you can hear all of it Mm. it's like a whole new listening experience like i'm very pleased with that right and they don't do that on spotify so it's the apple experience yes i wonder like how i wonder what why that is like how do they do that i think the technology like how do they crisp it up like that or like clear it up or like i don't know is it a different type of like mix because the vocals are there. Like you hear all the vocals. I'm like, girl, mm, mm-hmm, amazing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, however they do it. Well, that's right. an experience. That It is. It is a listening experience. Well, that's part of the fun of the of Mariah's music and but the Butterfly album. I can remember discovering particular layers and vocals that are buried and hidden mm-hmm. and tangled in other things. And you're like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Wait until you hear it in the know, Atmos, I'm girl, I'm... because it's not like even like even uh, like in Fourth of July, mm. where there's like little birds chirping in the background. Yeah, you hear them so much more clearer. 
or, you know, like just the layers in the breakdown song and everything. It's just so good. Breakdown has good layers. It's so good. Uh, is, you know, is that experience when you, I guess before the Atmos, um, when you like get new headphones or like one's a little bit broken and you end up hearing something different uh -huh. for the first time. Uh -huh. and you're like, oh, wow. What was that? So this might actually get a purchase out of me. She she figures out how to make you buy it. <laughs> she will make you buy it. She will do it. Yeah. You have 20 copies already. She yes. will make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's an yes. investment. That is definitely an investment for sure. Um, and then to round out the, these eight new bonus tracks, we have two club mixes. Yeah. Okay. So Butterfly, the Amorphous Anniversary Mix. Now, who is he? During the pandemic, I think he popped off on mm -hmm. social media because he was mixing different artists together and just kind of, he's a young guy, got popular on, you know, t Twitter or TikTok and all that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm curious to see what he does. I want to know too. Yeah. I want to know because I, I think he's really good. I mean, he yeah. definitely has a good ear for like, you know, uh, you know, right. music. And he's got the young crowd. Exactly. Oh, yes. He's very popular. Let's tap into very that. Very popular with the kids. So I'm yeah. excited for that one. Uh-huh. And then Honey, Another Taste, David Morales Mix. Mm-hmm. Curious. I'm really just curious. I mean, I'm curious as well because we already have great Honey remixes. I mean. Really good. And I feel even though David Morales is like iconic and his work with Mariah iconic, unless there's new vocals, mm. I already got the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, it's cute. It's there. I'm because we haven't heard it. I'm just having a hard time imagining how it could be better than what we got. Exactly. I so feel like I'm... this is just another one to the stack, mm -hmm. which yeah. I'll take. Whatever, I'll take it. 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 But again, fast forward to next week when we hear it. Yes, we'll we'll give you our full thoughts on it <laughs> next week. But so I think that's a great little addition to um, the Butterfly Twenty Five. Really good. Anniversary expanded edition is what she's calling it's it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I like this. I mean, she, I mean, if she really wanted to pull out a lot of things, she could have put some other stuff on there and made it like a two disker, you know, like other live performances. Mm -hmm. um, the SNLs. The, the, oh my God. Those are so good. Yeah. That David Letterman is good though, too. Mm -hmm. There's some good my alls. Mm -hmm. Really good, my around out Pavarotti, there. but that's already out. It's yeah, well, that's already out. Um, but now we have got the Atmos machine out. Let's start. Yeah, make it all out. Plug it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So we love that, but we're also now okay. We're getting new videos as well. So we're getting Honey and the Roof in 4K HD, which I already thought we did. I thought we got that last year. Apparently not. I think we were lying. I think we're relaunching re it. I think, yeah, we're okay. That's there for Fine, us. Let's go with it. Stick <laughs> to the story. Bro, okay, got it. Brand new. Uh, I got okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, but those are go gorgeous videos. So we're happy for them. But then the real thing I think I'm excited about there's a Honey documentary. The documentary. The documentary, girl. That will be interesting. Yes. Where are we even seeing it? I, I'm assuming she's going to put it up on the YouTube. Okay. You know, and I want a good, like, I wish it's going to be 45 minutes. It's probably just going to be 20 minutes. I think, it, I think a good 20 is enough. But Because I feel like I know enough about it. Just give me bonus footage and behind the scenes. Yeah, I want behind the scenes. Don't even I talk. Want, just I want, give me yeah, clips. Just give me just <laughs> the making of. Don't we all love a making of? Like yes. any of the music videos that she does. Like right. I want a making of. Like the Touch of My Bodies, the Heartbreakers. If it's anything like those, then I'm going to love it. Because I remember way back in the day they they were on the set of honey mm. entertainment tonight was mm -hmm. and they like filmed everything her and like on the rope going to the helicopter that mm -hmm. there wasn't a helicopter she's just hanging on a rope mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then like she's on the jet ski so like there's all the footage is there mm -hmm. but it looks like she's probably going to add some commentary some updated commentary to it so i'll take it i'm down i'm down i'm, I'm in love yeah i'm in love i can't wait that's probably uh, the most exciting thing for me right so far i wouldn't mind some roof action I, I want a documentary on all of them yeah all of them <laughs> yeah every single one i want behind the scenes i want like an updated interview of her talking about it uh -huh. i want all of it yeah so maybe well, those, see. all those videos are so good those are her best videos the whole my, collection yeah, yeah the whole the whole butterfly collection of videos is mm -hmm. so good mm -hmm. so we'll see maybe we'll get some more but she's uploading things on youtube yeah randoms let's get into that however let's take a quick splash break and then get into the youtube page the youtube
The Mariah Report is supported by PodcastCBD.com. Use the promo code REPORT to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at PodcastCBD.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how, what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best. And really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I'd wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh Uh-huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Welcome back. Yes. All right. So we left off talking about Butterfly 25 random YouTube videos. Yeah. So she's uploading these random videos that we've all seen before, but they're in better quality now. Much better quality. And also, I think the like the Jamie um, Thixon, Thixon? Thixon, Thixon interview, I think that show's just gone. So it's lost. So she's reclaiming it, mm-hmm. keeping it yeah. active on her page. All that kind of good but stuff. But those always have been my favorite interviews. Oh, they're always, they're a little flirtation back and forth. And she's like sassing him a little uh, bit. I love it. I know. I love it. They have good chemistry. It's all, those are always good. So mm-hmm. I'm glad that she uh, dug that up and put that there for us. There's another one for the Butterfly video with them too. And they're in the hit factory. And she's over mm-hmm. it. Have you ever seen oh, that one? She, when she's on the piano yes. or something and she's throwing a pillow at yes, him. Yes. Oh my God, I want that too. That one makes me too. laugh so much. Okay. <laughs> That's like one of the funniest ones. <laughs> yes, I want that one up too. I want that. I think she might be putting one up a day. So maybe we'll get like uh, maybe like six or seven of them. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. Because look, when she put that little teaser on social medias, we saw a couple of things in there. And one in particular was the honey performance from the top of the pops. That's a good one. Oh my God. Where she's singing live and legit dancing. Oh God. It's so good. Uh-huh. It's so good. I've been dying for that to come out in like good quality because the only quality we have is like 1997 quality. Cassette tape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I hope that's coming soon as well, because that is like one of my favorite right. performances. Yeah. Cause she was singing it girl. Right. I love it. So we have, Good things coming on YouTube. What about your thoughts on the lottery draw performance of Butterfly? Gorgeous dress. Gowns. Well, gowns. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> no, she looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't watched that in so many years. I feel like so I it's... saw it once on YouTube a long time ago and yeah. never came back to it. Yeah. I, I, I prefer where she's, you know, belting, belting <laughs> out the butterfly. <laughs> Um, but yeah. it. oh absolutely it's good just to have it just so we remember it and it documented yes it's yes. there it's there and we know where to find it now <laughs> <laughs> should we need it yes you never know we might need it maybe our dolby atmos isn't working over here and you need 
to hear Love butterfly. <laughs> um. Anyway, so that's the stuff. Things are coming. Yes, absolutely. This, oh, so far, this is a good package. It is. It really is. I'm again. I'm real excited for the documentary and for the vinyl mm-hmm. box set. Like that's girl. That's all I really, really wanted. And so. hopefully, as time ticks, more stuff gets revealed and unveiled. Yes, exactly. As well. So, uh, sort of adjacent to the Butterfly 25, we also got like this new jewelry collaboration dropped on us. Yes. So exciting. If you haven't spent enough money yet. I mean, it's rich, girl. So Very... rich, there's no prices. Is that kind <laughs> <No>. of rich? <laughs> so I think there's like two coll- two different collections of jewelry with a Chopard. Mm-hmm. Um, that's too rich for me, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. But there's like a Butterfly one and then there's um, like another one that has like their little bracelets with like heart and hearts and diamonds. Right. Yes. There's well, necklaces and, and bracelets. And there's earrings. And there's a ring too, right? There's and there's options. Girl, well, there's options. Yes. There's a options. lot of options. Yes. But um uh that butterfly necklace is gorgeous. It's all beautiful. Everything. It's all very oh my god. Yeah. Filthy rich. Mm-hmm. Filthy. But I'm I'm glad she's doing that. Yeah. It looks really cute. Super cute. Um they did a little behind the scenes video. We got new photos. Oh, the photos. Mm-hmm. Sophisticated. Well, she's giving us all the things we ask for. She's doing the gown moment, but mm-hmm. then the casual white shirt business. Yes. Uh-huh. Business casual. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I love it. All the looks. She looks beautiful. Yes. Stunning. Because it's been a minute since we had new photos. Exactly. Professional photos. Yeah. You know? I think, what were, what were the last professional photos we got? I think they were from maybe Harper's Bazaar. Remember when she had those blue gl- gloves on? Harper's Bazaar? Maybe. When? Don't. Like, uh, maybe a year ago. No, she was wearing like almost like half tan like things, and there were the blue gloves. Blue gloves <laughs> <laughs> might be you, blocking it. There's one where she's like in a green top. That was the best of all the photos. I okay, think. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. I'm getting it. so you're, it's coming back. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. you're getting it. That I think those were our last the blue like, gloves. Yes, gr- blue. Yes, blue. I was and like, the I was like a kimono esque mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm winter looks they were looks <laughs> <laughs> these new photos though are so gorgeous i love them i love them mm-hmm. i think the hair is beautiful the makeup is just right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and of course it showcases the jewelry mm-hmm. and i'm telling you that butterfly necklace really is something i think i like the clip on the clip earring that how do you know it's a clip well because it's got to hang on to the whole oh. lobe oh okay well, I think it goes in the ear, but then it holds on. Oh, okay, because it's heavy. Up. It's yes. heavy. Uh-huh. And it has danglies. You can't be dropping that on the ground. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, that's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> the danglies. <laughs> Listen, it's a cute collection. Now, I can't afford that, but there's something for everybody there. I'm scared to ask the price. Yeah, because I, I went on the website, and they don't have prices for any of those things. It's not that kind of place. So, no, no, no. You got to go in there. Into the room. Mm-hmm. Sit down, Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> we'll lock the door while you try it on <laughs> it's like that but um we'll see uh if uh we see anybody walking down the street with that butterfly necklace girl mm-hmm. they got the money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i don't know i just think that's something cute and festive yeah um for her to be doing yes it's yes like, like that's in her lane there's like, a range yes of mm-hmm. products coming out yes of pro- different price points yes. and we weren't even expecting anything like this either so yeah. this really is out of the blue mm-hmm um, and I like those things. Right. And um, yeah, I'm down for it. Looking great. Everything's looking Everything's really good. Everything's looking great. And she's been getting a lot of, um, not a lot, but like some good press as well from Butterfly 25 because for, she did an interview with Variety. Mm-hmm. She did an interview with Harper's Bazaar, all talking about sort of the nostalgia of Butterfly. Mm-hmm. So that's good stuff too. Yeah. And we're getting new quotes from her. Right. Where she said she's going to hopefully work with Brandy again in the future. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be great. Um, so yeah, we're we're getting stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious where the butterfly lounge is now. Yeah, well that yeah, I need that answered. Yeah. Immediately. Right. Where is the butterfly lounge? That was the big thing. I thought that's what we were getting. Mm-hmm. But we have not this gotten it. Yes. So I don't know. Well, we also have to look forward to the Global Citizen concert coming up next weekend, isn't it? Yes, In absolutely. Yes. Yeah. 
So next week, our episode won't cover that, but of course, the following week. There'll be things to catch up on anyway. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So there'll be plenty to talk about. We'll, we'll got some, we got some stuff. Yeah. We got some stuff. So yeah, it'll be good. Good things are in the world of Mariah. So we love it. Absolutely. And also we had some great feedback from last week's episode with Tabitha Soren. I know. That was a great episode. Everybody was loving that. Even me. I listened to it two or three times. Same. Before. I had to go back and take it all it in. It's very good. It sort of all just came together right at the last moment. Right. And I uh, will tell you guys a little story of behind the scenes of behind the scenes. So we reached out to Tabitha a week or two ago before this all happened. Long story short, she knows friend to the show, Michael Jackson. Michael R. Jackson. Michael R. Jackson. You know him. He came on a couple of years ago before the pandemic to promote his show, A Strange Loop. He's since won a Pulitzer Prize. He won a Tony, Tony. Award, Best Musical on Broadway. Yeah, he won all the Tonys at the musicals. Yeah, so unbeknownst <laughs> to me, they know each other. And so when we connected with Tabitha, she asked Michael uh, if she should come on, and he recommended that she did. So we owe him a huge thank you Yes. for... for the recommendation, I guess. Um, and go check out A Strange Loop if you're still in New York. Yeah, it's still running there. Still running, going still strong. Still doing the thing. Yeah. Absolutely. So thanks, Michael, for that a little hookup. We really appreciate it. And we all have to thank you for the, um, doing that, making that happen. Yes. And all the positive feedback. I'm, I'm loving that everybody loved the, uh, the interview. Yeah. It's, so it was great. Did you check out her photographs? I sure did. They're really good. F fabulous. Really phenomenal. good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm wondering, do we want a Mariah Tabitha collabo now? Tabitha oh. on the clicker, on the camera. I don't know. Maybe. She's got the skills. She does. That'd be interesting. So, you know, so we got to wrap up the episode. But now I remember um, I saw something online about um, Madonna's merchandise. Oh. And she had one of those little, because you're like talking about a clicker. Uh -huh. She had one of those 1980s things where you put in the round film and you look into it and you go like this the viewfinder yeah what is that called the viewfinder is it a viewfinder yeah and you like click through all the photos oh i used to have a sesame street one yeah i think i did too and it's like 3d <laughs> yes yeah you see yes. and you click through all the photos i'm like that is like the cutest thing like retro but that's like also cute. new and i was like okay that's thinking out of the box that's cute because i would love that for mariah for the kids out there it was they were like Plastic binoculars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you didn't see out. You look at these pictures and you put this cardboard wheel that had like slides in the wheel. Yeah. Shove it in. <laughs> and then you click this like lever like thing the on the side. And it'll like click the photos around. And you just like would look at the photos. Girl, we were, so we were living that was the high tech. Honey. There was nothing else to do back we then. We were living the best life. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With my Sesame Street. Clicky yes, thing. I think, or like they would do it for like a lot of cartoons yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like you can get them for like a bunch of things. But I think as the tech evolved, oh, actually, maybe put this in the Mariah bin suggestion box. As the tech evolved, I think you would play a tape and click it as it would tell you to click and it would tell you a story as you click through the photos. Really? Yeah. As you know, that became really Where would you hear it? If there was a speaker in it? No, a cassette tape. You put oh, it in you your cassette player over there. Yeah, over there. <gasps> really? Um, I don't know. We was never rich for that. Girl. It'll tell you a story on the tape, and then it'll go like it'll Click chime to or the whatever. Next slide or yes. something. So now you're doing a storybook time. Oh wow! Wouldn't that be no. fun with like a honey video? That would be. And like of to course. click through the honey scenes in three D. Yes. Oh my god! Could you imagine if they were like never before seen photos? That'd be fun. <laughs> I would die. And you have to buy the whole thing to see him? Yes. Or like maybe you buy like a, a pack of like 20. There's like 20 slides. That'd be it. fun. <laughs> yeah, you want a whole stack. Oh, girl, I'd be flipping like this all day. That'd be fun. Yeah. But anyways, just random. Oh, yeah. Random merch. That we're never going to get. <laughs> we're never going to get. But anyways, um, we are uh, gl glad we're getting all this stuff for Butterfly 25 and new merch and yes. all that kind of good stuff. So. I know. Tell us what you ordered from the merch range. Yes, in yes. The comments. I can't wait to see all the merch out there on all the lambs. Yeah, it's gonna look cute. Who got the Who got the rhinestone top? That's what I want to see. Yeah, tag us. Tag, tag us. us when you get it. Yeah. Um. But anyways, we will wrap up this week's episode. We'll be back next week with more Mar Mariah report. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. If you want to support this show, head over to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Join for as little as $5 a month. Cancel anytime. No strings, no funny business. It supports this show. And there's a whole community over there. 
And we're actually going to do the hot wings challenge because we've made, hit our goal. We hit the goal. So we've got to do so, it. Well, That's coming scary. soon. Um, yes. And of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, please click subscribe, hit yep. smash the like button. Sh share with your friends. That actually has the biggest impact. Tell totally. your friends to come yeah. listen to us. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That works. All that most. kind of good stuff. We need your help always. <laughs> yes. To keep things running around here, you know? Yes, absolutely. Uh, but thanks for listening, guys. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by E. Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app. <laughs>